So we're doing two things a month a month now. One is called Drone Brothers University, which is this session. It's all about entrepreneurship, all about uh, how to how to run a business, how to grow a business, stuff that I love teaching. And the second time a month, so it's like every two weeks we're doing these. So the second and two more weeks, we're gonna be doing a hangar talk. Hangar talks are geared to more at the technology side of things. So how does drone deploy work? The latest tools in drone deploy. Talk about maybe Pix 4D, talk about the latest drones that are out right now. Um, new ideas in the in the drone world. So it's more technology based. It's called Hangar Talk. Every that we do that once a month, and we do the Drone Brothers University once a month. Um, for those that don't know, I'm a serial entrepreneur for over 45 years. I started this company in 2013 when two of my kids came to me and asked about starting a summertime gig to keep them busy and out of trouble. So we started Drone Brothers. We're actually starting our, uh, I think we're starting our 10th year right now. So um been doing that for a while with the kids. Tonight's agenda, quick overview. Most of you on the call, I think, know who we are. So we're going to spend a little, just a quick time on that. I'm going to briefly talk about our pilot affiliate program, which is really important to, to us and to you guys as well. well. We'll have a little break for questions and answers. Um, I'll then get into kind of my 12 principles for entrepreneurial leadership, and we'll take a deep dive into tonight's topic is principle number two is communication and education. All right. Again, for those that don't know, uh, we've been doing this for a while. About five or six years ago, we, we made the decision to uh, start focusing on construction only. So today we are, we spend 90 Gosh, 95% of our time in the construction space. We don't do a whole lot of uh, we don't do a whole lot of other things anymore. We'll take a commercial job every so often comes on board, but we're focusing on construction. We do this nationwide. Some really big general contractors that we work with, and then on their end, they have a lot of big retail and clients that that like the Amazons, the Home Depots, the Costco's that are expecting them to deliver. Uh, really good services. Why us? We are nationwide. We're a one source solution. We manage everything for for the client, give them consistency across every job across the country. We carry insurance. Obviously, most people carry million dollars insurance. We carry a $2 million policy. Uh, we can also add our clients on as additionally insured really easily. All of our pilots are Part 107 certified. Um, we use the latest technology. We got a ton of five-star reviews. And most importantly, we understand the construction industry because we're flying hundreds of jobs on a monthly basis. And this is kind of our specialty area. We know the lingo and all that kind of good stuff. Again, I'm going to breeze through this because most of you know about the pilot affiliate program. We started this a few months back. The pilot affiliate program basically is the simplest way to explain this. It's, it's allowing you guys to represent yourself as being part of a nationwide network of pilots so rather than your clients thinking of you as a small time small town one city operator you have the ability to represent yourself as a nationwide pilot and offering the same services in any city and state across the country um again i don't, I don't know if i want to i can take you guys through this example but this is this is what what launched the affiliate program um, we're here in southeastern Michigan. We're no different than you guys because we started off just just like you in a local market. We do a really good job with Google. People find us pretty easily. So a client from the UP, Michigan is shaped like a mitten, lower peninsula and upper peninsula. About five hours north of us is the UP. Got a call one day from a flotation docking company. They needed help with a, a drone shoot in, in the Detroit area at a Rose Point Yacht Club. They called and I said, absolutely, we can help you out with that. But the first thing I caught myself doing was I said, hey, before we get into this, I want you to know that we do this stuff on a nationwide basis. And his first thing was, wow, I heard, a, I literally heard a sigh. Wow, that's fantastic to know because I've got a job in Wisconsin off, off of Lake Michigan, another job in Toledo, another job in Chicago. And um, I didn't know you can do that. this, handle all these for me. That's fantastic. So what turned what started off as one job in Detroit turned into five jobs in five different five different marinas around our area. And better, the best news is it actually turned into started off as a photo only shoot. 
then we upped him to some capturing some video footage and we upped him again to making a nice little promotional video for, for his website and we want you guys to have this exact same opportunity and if you get nothing more out of this whole presentation today then every time a client calls you just use the word I am nationwide and let them know that you can help them in other areas. And what you will find is they will say, wow, that's fantastic and a great thing to know because what a pain in the butt it is having to go find a new pilot every time we need to start a new job someplace and go through this whole process. It's great because you did a good job for us here in Cedar Rapids or you did a great job for us here in Chicago. We'd like to take you with us for our next job and you guys can then take that lead and put it into our network and we'll handle everything for you on that job we'll handle the scheduling the pre-shoot questions the invoicing the fly we'll do everything and some other pilot in another market benefits from this lead coming into the system you guys get benefit for putting the lead in the system you get paid a commission for as long as the project is going on um, the other benefit of the affiliate program is we do these hangar talks once a month we do the entrepreneurial talks entrepreneurial university talks once a month, we're building out a library of educational videos. We've got a library of sales material to help you guys with your marketing. So some PowerPoint presentations, some videos. And we also will give you the ability, I'm gonna talk more about this today, about giving the ability to do lunch, help you guys with doing lunch and learn, some presentations for large groups of people as well. You can also use the Durham Brothers affiliate logo on your website to let people know that you our nationwide provider of services. Um, the commission structure is really simple. On the first flight we do, on the job you refer to the system, you get paid 20%. And then on each additional flight that happens, there's a 10% commission for every recurring flight that goes on. If it's an 18 month project, you get paid over the 18 month period of time. If that client decides to upsell and wants to get additional services besides the basic flights that he signs up for, like he wants to sign up for a systems training video at the end of the project, or he wants to sign up for have some time lapses done or other things, you'll get paid on that as well. Um, your level of involvement is completely up to you. If you are the kind of person that wants to not be involved a whole lot and you want to just show up to these monthly hangar talks and university chats, pick level one and come on board and just do that and do nothing else. You want to represent represent yourself and kind of go to level two, you can Start telling your clients that you do this stuff on a nationwide basis. If you want us to really take a deep dive in and let us take care of helping with video editing, the social media marketing, sales, customer service, invoicing, we can help you out at that level as well. Or there's even discussion points that if you don't, if you don't want to do anything else, you don't want to manage your own website, you don't want to do any of the work of running a day-to-day -day business and we'll help you guys build up your local market. You can represent us in your local market and we'll help with the marketing and do everything and you can just go out and fly your drone to your heart's content. So I'm gonna stop for a second, just open the floor up really quickly for any questions anyone has on the pilot affiliate program. Yeah, Andy, has there uh, been any updates made as far as the, the videos, PDF stuff, presentation? Um, yeah, that we've got a um, we've got a PDF that's in place that Tony can send out to you, videos, Larry, we're couple days or a week away from having a new video do you know yeah next week there'll be a more uh, it's essentially the same video but it'd be geared more towards a personalization for the pilots oh, i was just going to say right now there's there's probably all oh, three to four different presentations that uh, you should feel comfortable walking into a trailer or presenting in either pdf form or video form and if anybody needs those i i usually send out a link uh, to those after these meetings so I'll, I'll be doing the, the same thing. And uh, if you need anything else, uh, Tony can help you out. You feel free to reach out to me as well, whatever you're comfortable with. And we'll make sure that you have all the materials that you need. Yeah, it's Tony at DromeBros.com. It's Larry at DromeBros.com. So Tony's the chief pilot. Larry's in charge of marketing. So any of those addresses will help you out. What we're trying to do, just I'm going to show you guys some of our presentations because that's part of the communication education topic tonight. I'm going to show you some of the presentations that we've got. They're geared right now for us. We've obviously got heavy branding on there for Drone Brothers, and we're trying to pair that back so that they're, these presentations are more generic for you guys. So we don't need to have our name on everything and, and bright lights and all that kind of stuff. We want to, anything we can do to help you guys out. So we're trying to get, 
gear these presentations to be less about drone brothers and more about this nationwide network so you guys feel comfortable walking into a trailer and representing yourself real real quick we're, we're going to focus on um, tip number two or principle number two so last month we talked about being organized how to handle all the data that's available to all of us being getting bombarded every day tonight we're going to jump into communicating communications and education um next month will be um, whoops we'll be embracing failure failure is guaranteed to happen so get used to it number four surround yourself with smarter people it's impossible to be great at every skill required to succeed Number five, always be learning. Technology in the world is rapidly changing at a dramatic pace, and we got to stay up. So always be challenging yourself to learn more. Um, find balance. This is a problem I we all have, I've struggled with for years. Of All work and no play is a recipe for stress and ultimate failure. So we've got to find balance between our work and uh, play life. Number seven, give it away. And we grew this, we grew this business from nothing to where it is today and we had to give stuff away and we still and we still do today so you may have to give some services away to get people to earn trust with uh future clients number eight tip is to get social this is a really important one if you guys don't have a google my business page they're free and they're fairly easy to get one up you got to have a google my business page and the other tip i'll give you on that we'll get into that more in a couple of weeks or a couple of months is you got to get yourself some some Google reviews on your Google My Business page. Google looks at reviews as the number one thing of where you show up in their SEO. So even if you have to ask your best friend or your kids or someone else early on to give you a review to get up on the page, get some Google reviews up on your Google My Business page. And the second thing is LinkedIn, we're gonna talk a little about today. It's mandatory. It's not an optional thing anymore. You gotta be on LinkedIn because it's the greatest tool given to us as entrepreneurs. Uh, number nine, always do what's right, over deliver every time. Number 10, be patient. Uh, we've been doing this for nine years and I tend to, as Larry and Tony can attest, <laughs> tend to get a little impatient. That why aren't things happening fast enough? But things do happen. It doesn't take place overnight and uh, always takes longer than you have planned. As long as you know that going in, you'll tend to get less stressed out. Number 11, hold yourself and others accountable. First and foremost, you must be accountable to yourself. Then after that, you can hold others accountable and set standards for your team and other people that are doing work with you. And number 12, we should we should have moved this way up. I might move this up the list, but be old school. Uh, most of us on this call are probably, I would consider old school. Um, we grew up before cell phones. We grew up with legal pads in our hands and we grew up knowing how to shake people's hands and go face to face with people and give people eyeballs. and that's a lost, all these things are lost arts. So we need to figure out how to go old school because it sets you apart from everyone else today because everyone else today is trying to do everything new tech and texting and doing stuff that way and old school sets you apart. All right, principle number two, communicate and educate. Um, we spend a ton of time, in fact, we spend a, an exorbitant amount of time educating our clients, that's the big, a big thing we, we got to do because the more you educate, the better they understand. Uh, we ask a lot of questions. We listen to our clients more than we talk so we can understand them and get to know them. We try to develop and learn empathy for what the client's true needs are. And again, we spend a lot of time educating. We also try to plant seeds daily. ABS stands for always be selling. We're always promoting ourselves. We're always trying to sell. We're from carrying around business cards to hand out to people, even though that's considered probably old school still. There's been so many times that I've been someplace that someone will whip out a business card. They've kept mine in a little plastic sleeve and a little binder they keep on their desk or it, it, that's, that stuff still works. Knock on a lot of doors, as many doors as you can. Um, really important. Again, if you, if you aren't comfortable with it now, the only way you get comfortable is practicing and not from simple things of knocking on the trailer door, introducing yourself to the superintendent, to the project manager. You got to get comfortable doing that. And again, people, it, you'll find it that's not as intimidating as you think, because again, humans like to interact with other humans. And if you're knocking a door, 
people like to be interactive and will usually come out and talk to you more so than they will via text or a video chat or things like that. Uh, get face to face as often as you can. Um, again, most people like to email or text or do the new school stuff. Face to face is a is a, is I think a dying trend, but if you can do it, people appreciate it, and it's going to lead to uh, really good things happening. You can't you cannot read a room, you cannot read someone's um, reaction to what you're talking to them as well as you can when you're face to face. You can see their expressions and get to know them. Um, second best option to face to face is do Zoom calls. And the third option, the last resort, which sounds so odd, is like use the phone. And I find myself, I find myself now that I'm getting in the habit, and we've we've had more Zoom calls in the last month than we've had in the history of this company. Because what's happening right now is I'm by default just saying, not can we jump on a phone call? It's when are you available to do a Zoom? Zoom has become so standard and so people are so used to it right now. And if you're not used to it, go watch a YouTube video, on how to set up, they're free to set the accounts up. They're free to use the account for 40 minutes at a time, but most people will join you on a Zoom. And again, you get that interacting, the face-to-face -face time. You can jump in on that call and you can share your screen with them. Really important way of communicating is we, our first choice now is, hey, can you join me for a Zoom? And I had a, this happened twice this week where I had a couple PMs that we were project managers. We were trying to educate on a, they had called in for information. And I literally want to, if someone does call in I'm on the phone with them, I will say to them, hey, do you have some time? Do you have some time to jump on a quick Zoom? I'd love to show you rather than explain to you, you'll understand this better, what it is that we do. And two people this week, one person, the call was at, I, she had called in at 10 to one. And she said, yeah, one o'clock, I'm free. Fantastic. Let me call you back. I'll send you a link to my Zoom call. We jumped on a call at one o'clock and we didn't get off the phone until or off the computer until two o'clock. So I had her on for an hour and she actually sent my link to one of her coworkers and they were able to join the, the Zoom call as well. So you'll get a lot more out of it if you do the Zoom calls with people and they're used to it now. So it's not like you're asking them to do something special. Um, CRMs, we talked about this last month in the information overload discussion, but if you don't have a CRM, get one. Most of them are really low cost or some you can get for free, but you really want to get to know your customers. We use a CRM called Insightly. Um, there's salesforce.com. We're actually moving to uh, Monday, which is we got Monday we use for a project management software. We're going to be moving to their CRM solution. But when you get to know your customers and you ask them a lot of questions, you can start logging a lot of this information into your CRM to, again, keep track of them. Are they married? Do they have kids? What sports do their kids play? Again, get to know people on a personal level and also get to know them on a professional level as far as, um, hey, what's, what's their background as far as the company they work for, where they work before this? Again, get to know them. People love talking about themselves. So if you ask questions, and I'm I'm trying to teach my daughter this now. She just graduated college. She's out in the whole the job search process and interviewing process, and she struggles with, well, I don't know what to talk to people about. Well, it's it's difficult, but ask just ask questions. Ask them questions. Ask them, are you married? Ask them, do you have any kids? Just ask questions, and then again. Keep the information so you don't forget it in a CRM. <clears throat> we follow up on um, every interaction we have with somebody, whether it's a phone call, whether it's a visit. We follow that up with a email. So we always want to have some a paper trail with everything that we're doing. And we also get in a really good habit of always setting a next task. So if you just get on the phone with somebody, you talk to them about an upcoming job site, and they want you to follow up in two weeks, Set a task in the CRM for two weeks to follow up. If they say, hey, no, I'm good to go. I don't need anything. Maybe you set a follow-up task to send them a, when you get back to your home, if you're on the phone driving, set a quick task for yourself to send them a thank you email, to send them a, a, a video of some latest job that you did, but always have another task set to remind to keep in touch. Um, and then we're just now getting the habit that once we fly the job, 
the first time for a client. We'll call them after the first flight and say, hey, did we do what we were supposed to do for you? And do we miss anything? What do you think? Did you see all the assets we send you? Because what we've learned is we are, you guys are taking photos, you're taking panels, you're doing a photo tour, you might be doing a map. And when we follow up with the people afterwards, we'll say, hey, did you see all the assets? What'd you think of the map? Or, hey, how about that pano? And sometimes they'll say, hmm, what pano? I didn't see that. Oh, well, that was a link we sent. And they'll have missed something. So again, always want to be communicating and following up with, uh, with your clients and prospects. <clears throat> All right, my favorite subject is LinkedIn. I guess either show of hands or if you guys got to send a message in the uh, chat box. How many of you are using LinkedIn on a daily basis? If you guys want to just send a quick little chat through with, with a yes or a no or a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you're not using LinkedIn on a daily basis, you, I, I can't in, encourage you enough, get to know how to use LinkedIn. It is the single best tool entrepreneurs have. I've been an entrepreneur for 45 years now. It is, there is not a tool that even comes close in a second place to what LinkedIn can do for you as an entrepreneur. And I'll, I'm gonna take you guys to examples of the way we use it right now, but greatest tool ever made available to uh, entrepreneurs for B2B. Um, go on to YouTube, watch a few videos. There's all kinds of videos on how to use LinkedIn and get the most out of it. There's a lot of stuff you can learn from the YouTube videos. Um, take time to create and update both your profile and your company profile. There's two profiles you want on LinkedIn. You want a page for your company and you want a page for your for yourself. After every Zoom call, after every meeting, after any kind of introduction you have with anybody, you want to go onto LinkedIn and you want to go make a ask for a connection. Find that person. And then when you when you find the person and you click on connection or make connect with that person, there's a spot for you to put into a note. Don't don't use a make the note personalized. Hey, it was great seeing you today at. Hey, it was great talking on the phone today. I thought we should connect on LinkedIn. Have a great day, whatever it is. What you'll find is if you if you send out nine, 10 connection requests a day, you're gonna get probably 40 or 50 percent of those people will respond back and they'll just say yes. They they people love to connect. They love to be part of a group and you will get to 500 or 1,000 connections pretty quickly, which is uh, a great thing. So ask for connections by habit. Every time you talk to, you meet somebody. Uh, follow companies and people you're inter interested in. If So if there's some company you're going after, follow them on LinkedIn so they show up on your feed every day. You can see new jobs that they're announcing, uh, new hires they brought into the company. Again, it, we use this every day. We just, we just, we're going to get a job in Oregon because one of our top general contractors posted something on their page saying, hey, we're starting a new project, a new senior living center in Bend, Oregon. And that was that was all they posted about. And I said, I said to the account manager that handles that client, said, you got to get a hold of them, call the Oregon office, ask who's in charge of that project. She did. We, we're now getting a, what's called a pre-shoot questionnaire backed from them and they want us to put a proposal here to onboard because again, somehow it slipped through the cracks. They didn't know that we were doing the drone work for, for them and that's gonna turn into a lead. So follow your follow companies and follow people and stay up with them. Um, you can prospect for leads and you should, I'll show you that how you do that in a second and post content often. So I'm gonna jump in and take you for those that don't know about LinkedIn, I'm going to take you to my LinkedIn page. So there's two things. There's my own page. So you've got to, again, update your profile, put a nice photo at the top of the page, put all your history in there. And you, again, it's fairly easy to do, but keep your profile updated and your about section updated. You can put some feature content about you on there and Again, people look for this and they want to know that you're, yeah, they want to learn about, about you online. Second thing is 
we have a Google My Business or not Google My Business um, page, Jerome Brothers page, and keep that updated as well. So this is where you post content about Jerome Brothers and keep that page updated and post stuff on a regular basis because again, people are watching and the search engines and the AI loves loves this kind of stuff. So here's what I do on LinkedIn, which is just, again, tremendous. I have a paid account. I think I'm paying $75 a month for the LinkedIn business paid account. Um, it pays for itself month in and month out. So if I want to do a quick search for, let me pick a, uh, one of our companies that we do a lot of work for is Ryan Companies. If I want to do a quick search for Ryan Companies, I can obviously click to follow them. But if I were to go onto their page and I were to click on the employees button, there's 1,780, 1,762 employees. If I click on that, I can now deep dive through all filters. I can say to LinkedIn, hey, would you show me all people at Ryan that have the title of superintendent. So I put the title superintendent for Ryan companies and click show results. And basically there are 244 people that work for Ryan that have the title of superintendent in their name. And if I'm smart, I'm gonna go through and connect with all of these people because these guys are the ones that are making decisions on purchasing drone services from us for their job site. These are the guys in the trailer, running the day-to-day. -day. So you see here, there's a lots of pending because the yeah. person that does all the LinkedIn stuff for us has spent a lot of time going through and doing this drill and asking for connections. And these pendings will eventually turn into first level connections. And even if they don't, I know that here's Taylor Boilu. So I can literally grab this name, take this and put this into my CRM, type her email address in, because again, I know the email address format. And if I do nothing else, I can send a quick little intro email to Taylor. Hey, Taylor, just want to let you know, we do all the drone work for your company. If you ever need help with that, if you want to learn about drone stuff, connect with me and I'll be more than happy to take you through a, a webinar or do a lunch and learn or what have you. So great tool to go find tons of names. And again, you can deep dive into, I can look for, if I wanted to, I can say, find me all superintendents that work for this company that are in Chicago, Illinois. And I can drill down into that level if I, if I want to as well and start making connections to these people. And in my view of this, when someone says yes to want to be connected to me, they've given me permission to start communicating with them via LinkedIn. So now I can come in anytime and do a quick little DM to them to check in. I can do if a new job started in a market and I want to let them know about this new job that started in Chicago. I can go do a quick search for all soups that are in Chicago and are all project managers in Chicago and send everyone that's not involved in that job a quick little email DM saying, hey, we just started a job right down the street from your office. I thought you'd like to know about it. Check out this panorama. And they've allowed me and give me permission to communicate with them on a direct basis via LinkedIn. Any questions on, I know I'm covering a lot of stuff here. Any questions on this LinkedIn before I jump on to, uh, jump on to something else? So you have a, uh, a LinkedIn guru there that does all your messaging and uh, contacts and all that? We've got, right now we've got, yes, we've got someone that's, that's doing this on a part-time basis. And we're just doing the, the basic stuff right now, of trying to make connections trying to look for jobs, look for content that they've posted things on that we that we should be responding to. So we're doing basic response, basic commenting and connections right now. But we're going to ramp this up and we're going to start doing a lot more things like at mentioning our clients when we start a job for them. We're going to take some of the panels you guys capture or the videos that we make on that job and we're going to put that on my LinkedIn page and the Drone Brothers LinkedIn page, and we're going to at mention the parent client so that everyone in the whole company gets to see what it is we're doing on this one job in Albuquerque or this one job in Cedar Rapids or what have you. So we're going to keep ramping things up with our LinkedIn strategy. All right. 
presentation. So you you want there is enough free stuff out there. So I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Canva. My kids seem to use Canva. It seems to be the things that when you everyone uses these days. Canva is a fantastic tool. I don't have a whole lot of experience with it, but if you go to Canva, I think it's Canva.com or Canva.io. It, they'll help you point and click and allow you to build out really cool presentations online. If you don't, if you're not comfortable with PowerPoint or Keynote, um, so I encourage you build out your own presentations. And if you don't know how to do that, find someone that can either help you do it that understands Canva or Keynote or PowerPoint. Maybe you got a kid or a grandkid or someone else that can help you with that kind of stuff. And if you don't want to do that, lean on us and we will help give you some of the stuff that we're doing. So we have a video and the video looks something like this right now. And again, we're trying to tweak this so it's not so heavily Drone Brothers related as much as it is just a generic video talking about the nation, this nationwide drone service. But it's a video that talks about who some of the clients are. And then we take them through, we take them through all of our different services from photos to panoramas to mapping to video production. So again, we want to keep selling this idea that we are nationwide and you guys are nationwide and here are the clients that rely on us for these services. So these are the kind of videos. We have a team of video editors on staff that help produce this kind of stuff for us. And again, we want to make this stuff available to you guys as well. So you can put this on your iPad and walk into a meeting and look like you know what you're what you're doing. We also have a PowerPoint presentation. Again, I'm not going to take you through the whole thing, but we got a PowerPoint presentation that's it's called Drone Brothers Uses at Every Stage of Construction. Again, we want to scale this back so it's just a generic presentation. But we take people through from site selection to legal protection to zoning meetings to 360 rendering videos to site plan overlays to golden shovel ceremonies. Again, we talk about all the different phases of construction, which is what these guys all understand, and then we can show them examples of all the all the work that we can deliver to them and show these people, show these people that drones are so much more than taking four pictures from the four corners of the job site. And when they see a 30 page long presentation, something clicks in their brains that, wow, this is so much more than I really understood drones to be or services that you guys are offering. We talked about this earlier, giveaway services. You're gonna you have you're gonna have to give stuff away. So we got a policy here. If a client signs up for our basic service of photos only, we instruct you guys go out and grab some video, go out and grab some map images. We'll pay you a little extra for that flight, but we want to try to upsell the client. We want to try to show them all of our services because what we found is if we show them all the services we do nine times out of ten or eight times out of 10, they're going to say, wow, that was that video was really cool. I can see how I could use that. Or, wow, I didn't know you guys did that mapping stuff. No one told me about that. And what does it cost more to do that mapping? And we usually get a chance to upsell them to additional service. So if you guys are out doing something for one of your own local clients and they only sign up for the bare bone basic service on the first time out, go out and give them the whole, the whole ball of wax. Give them, give them everything. And let them uh, let them get used to seeing that, and you'll find a lot of people will just say, "Yeah, let's just keep doing that from from now on." AI. So this is this is a biggie, and we've started looking into this, and we're actually going to have a, someone coming on board to help with this as well. You guys, I'm sure have all heard of Chat GPT. Um, this is this is revolutionary stuff guys revolutionary stuff this is game changing for those of you that don't know what chat gpt is i'm going to take you through a really quick simple demonstration of this the accounts are free you can set up your own chat gpt account yourself if you want to use the latest there's a chat gpt3 and there's chat gpt4 i think chat gpt3 takes you through like 2021 it's been trained for any data out in the world that was published prior to 2021. If you want stuff that data that's published after 2021, they're now charging. You have to pay like $20 a month to get the chat GPT-4, which is the upgraded 
version of their software. Um, you can start off with the three, it works just fine. But let me give you guys a quick example of how this works. If you want, you're, you're not really good at writing, you're not really good at how do I, what email should I write? What kind of thank you note should I write to somebody? I want to do a, a blog post about something in my industry. You don't have the gift of gab for this kind of stuff. You can literally come in here and say, please write a 400 word blog post about stock pile volumetrics for the oops for the construction industry Yeah, I've got to where I'm using that pretty much daily for emails and everything, man. Yeah. And the the key is the key is learning how to ask the questions to get the prompts right. But literally in 15 seconds, she, he, it, whatever this thing is, just wrote a a blog post about stockpile volumetrics that I read these things and I go through and look at these and I proofread them. They're grammatically right, they're punctuated right. The data is usually 99% right. And it's something that me as an expert in doing this for nine years, it would take me 15, 20 minutes to write this. She just did this and you saw it in 15 seconds. And I can go back and proofread it to make sure it's good. And I missed something here. Um, re, rewrite this from the perspective of Drone Brothers LLC. And now she's gonna rewrite this from my company's perspective. And it's gonna start off with Drone Brothers LLC will harness efficiently Drone Brothers LLC. She's now done this thing from my company's perspective and she just rewrote this in 10 seconds. And if I wanna put something else in there, hey, please add a testimonial you can literally get lost in ChatGPT and spend your entire day if you want to going down this rabbit hole. It's mind it's mind boggling. And it's mind boggling for us because again, most of us on I don't want to age everyone on this call right here, but I'm 60 years old and this stuff is hard to it's hard to imagine and understand. It's it's just sta it's staggering. Um so I encourage you. Learn it, jump in, it's free, get your own account, start playing around with it, watch some YouTube videos about it, but it's game changer stuff for you to write blog posts, write emails to clients. Again, if you wanna plan a trip, I'm leaving with my wife in a few weeks, we're going to uh, out east from Michigan. And I said, would you please create me a three week road trip in a camper from West Bloomfield to Arcadia National Park up to Nova Scotia and then back and make sure there's equal amounts of stops in both directions. And she did week one, week two, and week three. And then I asked her to provide a little more detail each day, a little more, a little more comprehensive of an, of an itinerary. She then gave me more details each day of literally places to stop. She wants me to go to Niagara Falls and jump on the Maid of the Mist boat to get a tour of Niagara <laughs> Falls. And again, she'll she'll take you down to how many hours you're driving. And where this is all going, guys, is some point in the next six months, maybe it's gonna be less than that, Expedia will be building, their engineers will be building on the ChatGPT platform and you will do stuff like this and it will not only plan your trip, it will know that you like to sit, you'd like to fly on Delta, you wanna sit in comfort class you or you want an aisle seat. And once it knows all that stuff and it will not only book your flight, it'll get you the seat you want, it knows you stay at, you like staying at Hampton Inns. It will book an, along your route for your trip you're taking. It will book all your hotels for you. You won't have to do anything because this, this AI will automate all this stuff. And it's just the same thing's going to happen in the in the grocery shopping, the recipe business. Who are the shopping companies that are they're sh um, shipped? There's these different companies that are going through Grubhub. Inst Instacart. Instacart, Instacart people are working on the, this now. They're technology people that you're going to put into your Instacart. You're going to say to Instacart, 
I I'm have I have five people coming over for dinner Friday night. We want to do lasagna and we want to have apple pie for dessert. Go. And she will take and tell you all the ingredients you need for the lasagna meal you're making. It'll tell you all the ingredients you need for the apple pie. It'll tell you the recipes you need. It'll put the recipes, the ingredients in your shopping cart. All you'll do is go into um, Instacart, hit yes, and then two hours later, the Instacart person will show up at your door with your stuff, and you'll have your recipe right here in front of you, and that's how we're going to make dinner and go shopping. This is going to happen in the next few months, not 10 years from now, not 100 years from now. This is happening right now, so get to know, learn to use ChatGPT because it's a uh, it's a game changer. Um, we do a monthly newsletter to you guys, the pilots, to our clients. Um, so get used to doing some newsletters, get some email blasts. You can do these right from either MailChimp, Constant Contact, or if you have a CRM in place like a Insightly or a Salesforce or a Monday, you can do these email blasts right from there. But get in the habit of being top of mind in front of all your clients. There, I can't tell you how many times this has happened. But we'll get a call a year later, two years later, that someone out of the blue will call. Oh, yeah, I, are you guys still doing? Yeah, I kept your email because we, we want to start getting in using drone stuff now. So you don't think it's working, but you got to do the basic blocking and tackling. So keep yourself top of mind in front of your clients and your prospects and send out uh, email blasts on a regular regular basis. And Again, last thing is kind of communicating and educating. The, there is a term in the construction space um, called continuing education, CE. These guys get CE credits. They get continuing education credits. They always, most company, most good general contractors want their employees to be always learning. So if you reach out to, a, to one of your clients and say, hey, do you guys want, ever want to learn and earn some continuing ed credits, let me know. We'd love to teach you and your team about all the really cool things that drones can do. And whether it's one project manager and his buddy in the next cubicle over, or he goes to the main person in the office and says, hey, office manager, I got a guy that will teach us all about drone stuff. Can we get him on the calendar for next month? You can either go to their office or do a Zoom call and um, do what are called lunch and learns. Meet and greets, these are terms that GCs are all familiar with. And if you say, hey, would you guys be interested in doing a lunch and learn? They'll know exactly what you're talking about. And they'll say, well, what do you have in mind? And you say, well, I can teach your people all about drones and drone technology and how drones are used on a job site and help educate your people so they're safer, saving money and all that kind of stuff. You'll get someone that'll say, wow, that'd be an interesting topic for, let me see if we can get you on next month's calendar to come in and do one of these presentations. And if you're not comfortable doing these presentations, just reach out to Tony, reach out to Larry, reach out to myself, and we'll we'll lead these for you. You can come on the Zoom, and we love teaching and educating. So we, we know how to do these things. We do them on a daily basis. So if you need us to help you, we've got the decks, we've got the presentations down, and we'll run shotgun with you and help you guys do these presentations in front of uh, a large group of project managers or superintendents. We're here to help with that. So summary, keep your name and company in front of your clients. Always be uh, selling. Arm yourself with a good presentation or two. Uh, get used to having to give stuff away to kind of earn new clients and upsell existing clients. Don't be afraid of technology. Learn how to leverage the technology, chat GPT, the CRM solution, uh, something like a MailChimp. And then offer uh, all your clients education and training. I, I, again, I can't stress the education and training enough. Um, we, st I st still can't believe this is happening nine years into this. This is part of my impatience, and this has got to move faster. But I had two two calls this week, and they both called up. They wanted, they ordered. We want some drone pictures taken. And I said, no problem, we can absolutely do that for you, but you have some time for me to jump on a Zoom with you. We did it, I took them through a presentation, showed them pictures, I showed them videos, I showed them stockpile volumetrics, I showed them how they can take a little slider on the 
screen and look at last week versus this week's map. I showed them how to do site plan overlays and every call works the exact same. Wow, I never knew that drones can do this. Let me talk to my team because we, we probably want to upgrade to those mapping services. And education is the key to success in this space. You got to be helping your clients understand where this technology is going and, and what's in it for what's in it for them. Any questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions? I have a question for the uh, presentation stuff. Do you have a uh, an icebreaker or introductory PDF or anything like that? I'm not, I'm not sure what you mean by yeah, what's, an, what's an what's an ice what's an icebreaker? Yeah, just just from the get go, how to how to approach the the company? I've I've got several companies, and I'm not sure how to make oh, that first approach as to you I know see. hey the 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 short answer to that is no, we we don't have that in in video or PDF format. Um, both of those things are in the hopper because we've talked about it's it's funny you'd bring that up, Corey, because we've talked about that very thing that there are a lot of people out there in the field that love to fly. Uh, they run across PMs and suits, but they're just not quite sure how to you know, what's an opening line, how do you approach it? What's the what's the way to go about it? So those will be, oh, give us give us maybe give us maybe 10 days to two weeks and both of those will be done. Okay. Yeah, because because I've got the PDF on the 21 construction uses yeah. and the uh, the video and that stuff. So I've I've got that stuff. Do you have the uh, Do you have the playbook? What's called the Yes. Okay. Yeah, Tony sent a link out after a hangar talk last time. Yeah, the the, the playbook is very very comp comprehensive. So you can use that in a in a wide variety of ways. You know, to to illustrate as much or as little as you're comfortable doing. By the way, I, I had a question for the group. How many how many people at one time belong to? Oh, I think they were called networking groups, where you know five or ten people would get together. What like once every two weeks or somewhere you'd meet at a coffee shop or at a somebody's house. It was five or ten people, maybe twenty. The big ones were twenty. I think just about all of us did at one time, right? We belonged to some kind of networking group for a year or. You know, some of them five years, two years. LinkedIn is that on steroids over and over and over again. Imagining having that same network group that you had where you 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 know you you interacted with the same five, 10, 25 people, whatever it was. Now you have the ability to interact with thousands of people at any time that you want. It's it's that concept brought into the virtual world. And when Andy talks about, you know, this being the greatest thing since sliced bread in terms of, a, of being in business, being able to communicate with people who want your service, uh, we, you just can't exaggerate the value of it. I, I just wanted to reinforce that. But again, it's very analogous to what we used to have in the real world. I, I'm sure there's still people meeting at coffee shops and doing their network groups. But this takes that, puts it online. And it just blows it up beyond any of our wildest imaginations 10 years ago, five years ago. It's a great tool. So get to use it. Corey, Corey what have you learned? <clears throat> what have you learned with um, ChatGPT? What's the the pros and the cons of ChatGPT? How give us give us give us all some kind of success um, stories. I, I failed English in school to start with. Um <laughs> So, so that's an issue. I'm not a content writer. You know, I can come up with a few scatterbrain ideas and stuff. It's just putting it together in a format that's uh, concise. And and uh, I like the function on there where you can put in, write this in a tone for a construction company or yeah. write this in a persuasive tone um, and that kind of thing. And it'll word it. And like I said, I go back and proofread it and delete some of the extraneous stuff if necessary. But um it, and the speed, like you said, is definitely awesome. You can you can get it out in just a few seconds. I put in a few sentences. Don't even proofread it. Don't correct any spelling. And uh, ch chat knows me now. They know I can't spell, so they fix it for me. <laughs> and uh, it's it's an awesome tool for sure. Again, it's it's half the battle is just learning what questions to ask her on a regular basis and how to how to keep drilling down and 
deeper, deeper and deeper as you go. So again, it, it could start off as something as simple as I'm mean, here's something one I did a while back, five ways drones are being used to capture stockpile volume, volumetrics on a construction site. She did these five things. I could then come back and say, hey, expand upon bullet point number four and make that into a 800 word blog post. And she'll expand on how GPS tracking and GPS systems, she'll expand on that number alone. Or like you said, like um, you, you mentioned, hey, write this in a more positive, uplifting. It's it's crazy that you can suggest these things and she understands it and gets it right 100% of the uh, of the time. I know when I was first using it, it had a suggestion box down there where you could put the, you could click on a box and it would open a menu and you could pick different flavors. But now it's just gone to two, I think, because I'm not paying for it. Okay. Here's one. Here's one I did a couple of weeks back. Uh, how are drones being used in stockpile biometrics on a construction site? She wrote that. I, I said, add a few nuances to this. She said, okay. So she add a few more nuances to that above thing. Then I said, um, um, how are how are ones being used to improve stockpile accuracy? She wrote more about that. Then I said, make make this into a LinkedIn post. Sure, here's a LinkedIn post. So she then wrote it as a to be put on LinkedIn. And then I said, okay, revise this LinkedIn post to make it less than 50 words. So she cut it down even further. So it's just a really short to the point LinkedIn post. And I don't know why she didn't do it on this one, but normally she would actually add the hashtags in there as well. So she put hashtag construction, hashtag stockpile. She'd give you the hashtags that go into your LinkedIn post as well. I don't know how to do it, but I think you could tell her, hey, make this into a PowerPoint presentation and she'll go out and put it in a format that you can use in a PowerPoint presentation. Now, I, I seen one today, I forget what site it was on, but a guy had showed a picture of a uh, land, just a land with a some bare spot on it. And he had the AI put stockpiles on the land and you couldn't tell the difference. It was one of the, one of the photo AIs. It's crazy stuff. By the way, I was just gonna throw out there, if somebody needs a presentation that's geared toward a certain company, uh, just let me know. It's Larry at, at dronebros.com. And we can, uh, you know, tweak one of the presentations to make it centered around that. There are also a series of videos in the works that'll be done very shortly that will demonstrate all the various tools in the mapping toolbox. So it, 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 they'll be anywhere from 60 to 90 seconds long. You'll be able to send those out and it will illustrate very clearly in video and voiceover, uh, for example, uh, stockpile volumetrics. Anything that's done through the drone deploy uh, uh, app will now have individual uh, videos for that. So uh, that's just part of our ongoing education for PMs and soups, et cetera, but we can make those available to you as well. So that's not a drone deploy videos? It's a drone deploy feature that we've, we've yeah. outlined and ex are explaining in greater detail because drone deploy doesn't really have deep dives into each of their features. Like we took the time to say, right. okay, here's the compare button in the mapping thing. Here's how the compare button works. Here's here's how the overlay feature works in drone deploy. Here's how the cut fill analysis feature works. We took a deep dive into about 10 different areas of the mapping software. So again, we wanna educate because when, when, when a superintendent sees this stuff, they can never unsee it. They can never ever go back to uh, oh, I'm, oh, no, I don't need that. I'm going to go back and take my iPhone and walk around the site and take pictures this way, or I'm going to call my survey company and wait for two weeks for them to come out and walk the site and pay and pay them $2,000 to ca capture a survey. They'll never, they'll never go back to that once they've seen how it's done this way. So yeah, yeah we're, that's, we're that's a great benefit. Really, it is. I mean, I, drone deploy should be doing that sort of thing. And you guys are, are taking it one, one step further. So much appreciated. Thank you. We're, speaking of drone deploy, we I've I've made a connection. There's a um, there's a group called they have a podcast called Built Differently. I don't know if it's yep. a podcast. I think it's a podcast, but it's called Built Differently. Follow them on LinkedIn. Follow them on YouTube. 
I actually got to know the two guys that run the podcast, and I'm trying to weasel my way into, we might be sending you guys an invite in the next coming weeks where we're going to either be on their podcast and have, have the experts from Drone Deploy on that you can ask them questions and and they can ask you guys for some feedback because they, they run a really cool show. I I put up the flagpole on a call I had with them about a, two weeks ago about, hey, if I get our team of pilots together, would you be willing to do a uh, session for us? So we, we're going to we're looking at trying to do that in the coming weeks to get on to get on their podcast for some educational Q and Q and A as well. Andy, what was that called one more time? The Built Different Podcast. B U I L T Different. They're very good at what they they do. These two guys that run the uh, run the podcast. Cool. Have a great uh, night, everybody, and thanks again for uh, for joining.